Hello, hello, and welcome to Tarot Parlor Podcast. In this episode, uh, we're going to go over another requested reading from my last short and sweet video, which contains seven scenarios. Uh, I will post a link to that video within this video and in a description box below this video at YouTube if you haven't seen this short and sweet reading and you would like to. And as always, if you connect with any scenario and you would like an expanded reading on that topic, you can contact me and request one. And the instructions to do this will also be found in the description box below this video. For this reading, the scenarios that were requested was scenario number three, which has to do with an unexpected outcome. Scenario number six, which which involved being too emotionally invested. And we're going to throw in the last scenario, scenario seven, I believe, that had a stalker in the picture. I will be using spiral tarot, and we are going to go from here. Okay, for the first scenario, an unexpected outcome. We have the chariot. This unexpected outcome led someone to go in a completely unexpected direction. And this might also be, as I'm feeling, something that was unforeseen by everyone around this person. It was like they did the opposite of what they would always said they do, or they always said they wanted to do, or they liked. And so often people will do that. They turn in the opposite direction from everything they ever thought they planned. So there must be a good reason for this. And that's what we're going to look into as well. This unexpected outcome, Eight of Wands, uh, reversed. This unexpected outcome did not happen overnight. There was a process involved. Um, I have no idea what this entails, um, as I shouldn't. Um, but I knew, do know if, if, whether this um, has to do with a relationship or with a job or some other distinctive life situation for this individual who requested this reading. This was a process. It did not happen overnight. Next card, Four of Pentacles. This unexpected outcome may have resulted in someone holding on to something too tightly, not wanting to let go. I'm also feeling from this card that Someone was not willing to let go of, of something that, that gave them comfort or stability or constancy in something. They, were, they like had, had planted themselves so firmly. I'm feeling that um, I'm feeling the energy of someone around them who is ready for a change or ready for adventure. And there's someone in here who just uh, doesn't like change. And they're very cautious. Uh, maybe indecisive for new decisions. Next card, Ace of Swords reversed. <clears throat> One thing that could have contributed to an unexpected outcome is very, very poor to non-existent communication. There is either troubling communication in this scenario um, or there, there were things that were not spoken that needed to be. I'm not quite sure at this point which one it is. It could go either way. Temperance reversed. Obviously, there was something off balance. And as I look at all the cards we've laid so far, that is the impression that I'm getting. That there is a situation where two people wanted two different things. They wanted to go two different directions in life. And the stress from this and the tension would kind of built up over time. So something has to give. So one person or the other, it would be nice if they would both compromise, but have you ever noticed that it doesn't always work out that way? One person or the other will not change, and, and that may be what led to an unexpected outcome here, along with, like, the communication is a real issue. And I have to... Uh, I think I have to address that further, look at it. We're gonna draw one more card for this scenario. Six of Cups reversed. Uh, this is in the past. 
whatever water under the bridge here for uh, this outcome. It, it, it's done, been done, decided. Uh, there's someone who has moved on from it. There is someone who has uh, progressed forward and there is someone who is still stuck. Uh, stuck in a place where It doesn't feel very fulfilling and it feels it feels like someone wants to get out of the place they are stuck in. They want to also move ahead or move forward, move past something. And it's not happen, it happening. The, what I'm hearing through my head is someone who is stuck in the past. And until they get through this through this and work through this, um, they're not going to move forward because you can't move forward if you have one foot in the past. And I speak from personal experience here. You can't move forward with one foot stuck in the past because <laughs> no movement is possible. You're constantly drugged back. You might make you might make your way for a bit into this future and into a, a new future and progressing with life in, in certain ways. But with that foot back there stuck in the past, you're always going to be pulled back. Something will always be pulling you back. You can only get a certain distance away from it, if that makes sense. Okay. The next scenario here, uh, let me see. Okay, the next scenario we're going to look at is someone who is too emotionally invested. First card. Eight of Cups. Uh, I, again, and this is going right over the top of the first six cards that I drew, which are three cards on the top row, three cards in the bottom row. The Eight of Cups is going to lay right on the chariot as, yes, yeah, someone took off, someone left, someone went in a different direction. They abandoned a situation, they abandoned a person, they abandoned a relationship, they abandoned a marriage, they abandoned something, and they were they were just ready to move forward. And, you know, and that's just... That's just the way that, that it happened. I am also feeling with this card that someone here tends to look back once in a while. So is it this person that actually moved on that is the one stuck in the past, that they, they can't move on in a manner that they thought they could because they, they keep looking over their shoulder to the past. So... What is it that you're looking for when you look back over your shoulder into the past and you, you have moved on? There, there's something about it. There's cords that aren't cut. There's ties that, that are fuzzy and, and still in place. It's like not a clean start. That's what's going through my head. The words have popped into my head. It's not a clean start. Ten of Pentacles reversed, going right on top of the Eight of Wands reversed. A family situation that just um, something, something was deteriorating over a period of time, built up perhaps by lots of little things that, that made the situation more negative in larger and larger ways, in increments. I don't feel like this is some big blast thing that happened overnight. Queen of Pentacles going right on top of the Four of Pentacles. Someone is so stubborn here. Someone, the, the, the emotional investment, someone is so stubborn that they, they won't let go or they can't be made to see something from a, a different perspective. They can't be made to see something from someone else's point of view. Uh, they just don't want to give up. They don't want to give in. They don't. They don't want the change. Someone did not want the change. Strength reversed is going right on top of Ace of Swords reversed. Someone was not brave enough to confront someone verbally. Someone. Someone is still trying, still trying to keep something from being said. To keep something from being exposed, um, to keep someone from speaking. That's what I'm getting, is someone is trying to keep someone from speaking. The Knight of Swords reversed is going on top of Temperance reversed. I sense a lot of miscommunication here. There's a lot of miscommunication. There's also um, a flurry of 
energy uh, or activity around someone. The Five of Swords is going on the Six of Cups reversed. Uh, I'm getting the feeling with this card that someone honestly has has their wires crossed in a sense that um, someone stood up for the wrong thing or is standing up for the wrong individual or the wrong reason. Someone's doing something. Wow, I'm without a great deal of thought. Someone is doing something and and they didn't stop to think of the repercussions against it. And, and, and the feels like they're lashing out. They've lashed out at someone, but they haven't taken into consideration how this is all going to work out in the end or how it can be. Um, repaired, how it can be retrieved, how it can be rebuilt. Uh, I think I think someone burned their bridges here. Someone really burned their bridges. And that's where I'm going to end for this scenario. The last scenario here was the stalker of all the interesting things. To me, even before I've drawn any cards for the third scenario, the stalker, I'm thinking it's going to be two separate, separate, um, completely separate things, but I'm not so sure. First card for the stalker is the tower reversed. Okay, it's going right on top of the eight of cups. The tower reversed. There is a lot under the under the bridge. There is. There is a catalyst that caused this whole scenario the whole the whole the whole picture this whole big picture there is a catalyst that that just started the movement of everything here every single card here was started by some pivotal moment six of swords the divorce card moving on moving on there's after after this catalyst caused this total complete direction i'm moving on and moving on moving away um this card too in the spiral tarot deck there's a lot of stealth it's dark it's a very dark card and there's a, a white uh ghostly fairy image that is above this this cloaked individual in this small little boat with all these swords moving off in, in through the water, through the darkness. And there's a ghost of something. There's your stalker. There is a ghost above them on this particular card, just holding their hand over their head. So so it's like, and, and I do believe that uh, we've gotten this impression uh, earlier in this reading of someone who will not let go next card. The High Priest is reversed. This card is going on top of the Queen of Pentacles. Um, there's the feeling of adversaries. There's the feeling of um, there's the feeling of someone who works behind the scenes. There's a feeling of someone who's opinions or actions or speech um, impels things to move along for this um, scenario for the stalker but it's totally behind the scenes oh this is like red flag warning there is someone that you are close to or someone's whose opinion that you would take seriously who is aware of, if not involved with, someone who will not let go at this point. Does that make sense? Next card, the Fool reversed. Uh, well, and it's going right beneath the tower, right over, strength reversed. It, someone is behaving as though they have no game plan, and they're they're also behaving as though they have no um, they have no sense of responsibility. So there's an air of immaturity about this energy. If that makes sense. Next card, Five of Wands, right on top of the Knight of Swords reversed. And there's a lot of chaotic, when I look at these cards side by side, actually, there's so much frenzied energy. There's like lots of talk going on, but it's not 
it's not calm and it's not quiet. It's not constructive. There's like a flurry of speech that is in, incitive. There's um, disagreements and squabbles and chaos and disorganization. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Last card for this scenario. Six of Wands reversed. Um, no one is going to come out of this a winner. No one is going to come out of this a winner as long as all of the energies that we've spoken of in this reading are in here. And... It is very um, chaotic energy. It's very disruptive energy. It made my head feel kind of swimmy and, and muddled and hazy as I'm doing the reading. And it's a relief to come to the last card. You know what? I am going to reshuffle the deck here. I'm going to pull three more cards just to finish out this story because I feel uh, very muddled energy in here. What we have here. Uh, there's just a lot going on here, and and I'm feeling it's it involves more people than you would think would be in such a scenario, whatever your scenario is. First card, the Hierophant. Uh, connect with uh, more uh, you, conventionality. It's like um, what I'm hearing in my brain is someone needs to connect with something that is very stable. They need to come down out of the clouds. They need to look at something with pure logic. Pure logic. Uh, three of Swords reversed. There's like too many people with their fingers in the pie here. There's too many people within this scenario. This three of swords always adds a third party. It adds someone that doesn't belong there. That's <laughs> what it does. And the last card, king of cups reversed. It's, it's like a total unleashing of hedonistic tendencies. It's like not being able to keep boundaries, not being able to draw oneself up and to maintain restraint or maintain a willpower it's like a total unleashing a total unleashing of energy without any sense or feeling or care about repercussions and as i look at these cards the hero the hero font on one side three of swords in the center and the king of cups reversed on the other side there's a tremendous pull here with such different energies like polar opposites and there's this third sword thing in the middle and it's um it's like something something has to be concluded and that's the biggest piece of, of of information i'm getting from this is the final thought that popped into my mind right now something needs to be concluded and with that said i am going to end this reading and as always, until next time and until the next video, bye-bye.